Hello, everyone. It is September 5th. Um, I was supposed to vlog, didn't vlog because I forget to turn the camera on. I am a terrible YouTuber. I'm a terrible social media. I'm, I'm just, I'm just terrible at social media in general because I forget to record things. I'm just like always in the moment. I'm just always in the moment. So I forgot. We took pictures. I will put the pictures on the screen. Um, it went pretty well. We had quite a few people stop by. We had quite a few people buy a candle. We sold a wax melt. So you know that was good. And when I say a wax melt, I mean like a, a bag of wax melts. I don't know if I've you guys have seen what our wax melts look like, but yeah. So it went pretty well, I think. There's some stuff, but um, I was a little stressed. And Kim has been a little stressed leading up to the launch. So we're taking a, like a, kind of going to go easy this week. We're not really going to do anything else besides like post to social media. I keep looking up here where the view like finder is and I need to look at the camera. We're just going to take it easy. We are going to try to just post to social media where we can. I need to like try, I'm going to try to focus a little bit harder on TikTok. Um, it's just hard for me to like know what to post on TikTok. So that'll be fun. Um, this morning, all I did was take pictures for the fall candles that are going to be released sometime this week. I'm not making any more candles, at least not this week. It, I'm just chilling. Besides that, the only issue is we launched the website and our Etsy store at midnight. And I don't know when it happened, but after I came home from the launch party, I checked in. On our Etsy account and it was like I it, there was a notification that was like oh your Etsy account has been suspended and they were like yeah please check your email to see what you did wrong and I don't have an email I checked my email inbox I don't have anything from Etsy I checked my spam folder I don't have anything from Etsy so I contacted them through support and was like hey I've been suspended I don't really know what I did wrong because we haven't sold anything so maybe I just had something in a on a page that was wrong but I can't imagine what I actually put on our page that was so offensive or something like that like we don't have anything trademarked nothing copyrighted I also know that like if they suspect that you're not because Etsy is a store for like handcrafts so if they, if they suspect that you're not a handcrafted store then they might close you but I'm like I pour I you guys have seen footage I posted footage of me making the candles like I melt the wax and make it myself so I don't know I don't think that's the problem either so yeah I emailed them and they were like it could take up to seven days it didn't say seven business days it said seven days um in order to get a response so I was like I'll try to give them a little bit of time and if they start taking too long I'm gonna try to see if I can call Although from the research I was doing, Etsy is like, for some reason operates in this manner of like suspend first, ask questions later. I particularly don't like Etsy as a platform. I think it's unfair to sellers. From the little research that I've done, it's not really fair to sellers and like, you gotta constantly be selling, constantly have like five star reviews. You have to constantly like respond to messages as soon as you get them. And I'm like, dude, these people, st these people, these sellers still have other lives. Like they can't just live on the website all the time. That's a whole different other thing, but that's a headache and a half. So right now we only have Shopify up. We don't have our Etsy store up. I suspected that from the research I was doing, it's possible that they suspend your account if you have two Etsy accounts and that that's in terms of like a buyer and a seller account so I guess if you have a seller account with like a store page you have to somehow and I don't know how to do this but apparently you're supposed to say on it that you you have a, you have a buyer account and what that buyer account is and I can see why because it's like you could put up like fake reviews and stuff like that or you know fake purchases um, in order to like get your store rank up so I could see why Etsy's like no you can't do this but 
at the same time, I was desperately trying to remember if I had a buyer account, and I did, and I was like, oh, so I closed it, because they didn't suspend my, my other one. And some people were like, oh, they might suspend that one and not the other one, so you might be okay. But the thing is, once a store, like, username is, is, is taken, no one can use that username. Even if you change it, if you change your store name to something else, like, like, your store's username to something else, no one can use your previous username either. So I'm like, <laughs> I need Moonwax Galaxy to, like, be the name of our stuff very desperately, um, Etsy, can you help me out here? I haven't even started, listen, I haven't even started selling on Etsy and I'm already tired. So I'm going to give them a few days. It is Labor Day weekend, so they might be like, whatever. But I also know that I'm an impatient person, so I might just mess around tomorrow and call them and be like, hey. Or not tomorrow, because tomorrow's Labor Day, but like Tuesday, I might call them and be like, hey, uh, I need my store up, please. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, besides that, I'll try to get some footage of me trying to mess around on TikTok, basically, and see how that goes. I also have, I don't know if I should mention this, but like, there's a popular YouTuber, and I won't say who it is for now, just in case it doesn't work out, who, she has a P.O. box. And I was kind of going to send her a candle and not really like on a like, oh, give me free po promo or like promote my, like, it wasn't like for promo or anything like that, you know? But I also know that this YouTuber in particular likes candles. And uh, like, I've also been into candles for a while. So I was like, I want to give her a candle just kind of like as a way to give back to her channel and stuff like that. Because she doesn't really take like donations, like she doesn't really have like a Patreon or YouTuber members thing. Like she doesn't really have any of that. So I was kind of like, okay, I just want to send it as like a way of like support as a fan. But I don't know. Cause her recent video was like, if I see, if I talk about it, you guys are going to figure out who it is. But she just made a video recently that was like, she had some issues with her mental health and she didn't want to be recognized as a YouTuber. So I was like, but, like, it was, like, in the past, like, she was, like, oh, I'm better now. But I feel like, I don't know, I like, I was, like, would she be offended if I, like, sent her this package? So, like, my friend was, like, well, maybe you could just DM her to ask her. And I was, like, yeah, I think I'll do that. So, we'll see. I low-key already made the candles despite not getting an answer. Like, I haven't even messaged her yet. But I made the candles. And I made two shooting stars because one, I feel like shooting stars are popular right now. But two, it's supposed to be like jasmine and peach. And I know jasmine is like, well, really it's uh, lavender. But I know jasmine can like help calm people down and all that good jazz. So yeah. And I think that's it. After this, I'm going to try to film a TikTok, which is promo for our shooting star and see how the young people on TikTok like it. <laughs> Um, it's kind of putting myself out there a little bit, but it was like, I was going to dress as like, the plan is to dress like an 80s girl, workout girl outfit, and like be working out to a Madonna song. I forget the name of it. Lucky Star by Madonna and kind of doing like a workout thing with like candles in the background and stuff like that. And like, you'll, you guys will see, but we'll see. I'm nervous just because I don't, I'm never posted to TikTok. I just watch TikTok. So, like, posting to TikTok for me is a little intimidating. At least, like, my, like, me being on camera in a TikTok. I don't know why. This is dumb. But I've put, like, I posted about the candles, but I haven't really posted myself on there. So, I was like, I don't really know how this is going to work out. But we'll see. So, I might either do that tonight or I might do it tomorrow, depending on how I feel. I feel a little bit tired right now. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but we'll see. I, I need to get it. I was supposed to get it out last week, honestly, but I was just like freaking out so much about the launch. that so I was like, I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. So now that things have calmed down a little bit, I'm hoping to just focus on posting the social media and hopefully get into it with Etsy. <laughs> yeah. 
to the light <laughs> where the light is hello today is monday on labor day september 6th there we go i know what today is i don't have that much stuff to do really i have today off of work so i'm gonna try to focus on some business stuff we're gonna take the extra candles that i have back to storage um uh, i'm gonna keep a couple just for the sake of me and Kim are gonna we're gonna meet virtually today to talk about what we're gonna post to social media because we need to kind of like go hard on some promo a little bit so we're gonna talk about our game plan for that I already plan on trying to do the whole idea I was gonna do with um shooting star um that I talked about I think in the last video and I also want to try to Maybe do a promo for some of the fall ones because I'm going to release the fall ones probably next week, either this week or next week. I didn't want to release them like really soon after we launched, but fall is like here, you know, like it's September. So I kind of want like to have September, October and November to like really, you know, have these candles available. So I'm going to see about doing some promo. The promo for those ones probably won't be like as extensive. Like for Shooting Star, I had a whole outfit planned. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But besides that, I'm going to be waking, making the wax melts for the fall candles. Because I focused on the candles and I forgot about the wax melts. and was like, oh shit. Um, I don't have that shit together. But see, here's my worry. So the wax melts for... Our original launch is over there. Come on, focus. Focus is right there. And those are okay. The only thing is, whoops, you're real close to me. The only thing is that they can get like, I guess kind of soft a little bit or a little melty. So like I've been putting them in and out of the fridge. We have in the drawers, cause like we never use the drawers in our fridge, but I was kind of like, I plan on making a lot of wax melts for the fall. So I don't know how I'm going to fit them because they have their own separate packaging. Like they're in a um, macaroon. Like I got these macaroon long boxes so you could see them. And I was just going to lay them out. Uh, but I was like, if I end up making all the wax melts, I don't think that they're going to fit in my, in my fridge. Why am I pulling up a blank? I'm sorry. It's early y'all. It's like 8 a.m. So I'm trying to see how we're going to go about doing this. I think the easier thing to do is if I can bag them together. I might just bag them together in the wax melts bags because I have a whole bunch of extras of those. And then package them as people get orders and go from there because I was like, I don't know what else I'm going to do. So we'll go from there. The only thing is math is super hard for me. So like I'm going to have to really be on my shit when it comes to like keeping up with numbers and stuff so yeah and i'm gonna show you let me go walk to my kitchen and show you i it's super dark y'all i'm sorry so here's the fridge and so like these drawers down here we never use so i have them in like baggies right now but i don't have them marked i need to mark them because the coffee ones the coffee ones I'm gonna get confused but uh, yeah that's what I think I'm gonna do but the thing is I gotta make like a hundred something a hundred something of these like of the little they're shaped like little pumpkins and I gotta make like a hundred something of them so I'm trying to figure out if they're all gonna fit and they might so I'm just gonna do a test with Pumpkin spice. Kim hates the pumpkin spice. I don't know why. Focus. Come on. Focus. Hello. Because uh, she's like, it's so basic. But I'm like, that's all the more reason to like buy it. i am be honest with y'all. I was a pumpkin spice like type of person when it came to candles. But I also decided to make a spice cranberry. And. I'm going to be honest, the spiced cranberry is more of a vibe than the pumpkin spice. So I was like, hmm. So I need to make about 16 wax melts. There's 12 
Is it 12 or 6? Shit. <laughs> Let me walk back again. I need to make 16 of each packages. Uh, of each set. This, here we go. We're on the adventure. We're mathing today. Math is my worst subject, y'all. I was never good at math. English was my thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, all right, I'm gonna set this on the counter. So here is, oh, y'all can't even see it. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's a blue box, cause I couldn't find red. And when you open it up, you slide it out. There are the wax melts. They look, they're shaped like little pumpkins. And so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and a package. So 12 times six is about what? 30, 36, is that right? No. 72, 72 I believe. So yeah. And this, this box is originally like, it's like a lot deeper than what I needed, but it was all I could find because it's originally for macaroons, but I just wanted something cute for the fans, you know, for the, for our customers. So I'm going to put that back. I'm going to put it in the other drawer, actually, in this drawer. Ugh. All right, the struggle is real, y'all, working from home sometimes. With this whole, like, business thing, storage can become a problem because I live in a smaller space. We're in an apartment. And, like, I be looking at other people's, like, work areas. And sometimes I'm just like, wow. Like, it doesn't make me feel bad, but I am just like, wow. People have these big houses or they have their own office spaces. They begin their own, like warehouses i'm like i'm just it's just me in this tiny apartment uh with my sister and my mom so trying to make it work focus i'm right here all right my camera's going through it today anyway um yeah so let's see 16 i got i got my little dollar tree calculator 16 times 6 96 so i gotta make 96 wax melts for each cent and then I'm going to figure out how I'm going to mark the, <sighs> that's the only thing I also didn't think of was how I was going to mark the boxes. So we'll see. I might, <sighs> we'll have to figure it out. But yeah, also I'm going to show you, this is my little workstation. Um, we still have the stuff from last week. Uh, not last week from Saturday on it. So like those are decorations. Those are decorations. Those are decorations. What I'm trying to do is uh, we didn't exactly plan out the launch party as much as we want as like in depth as we wanted to when it came to traveling. So what I'm trying to do is I'm going to borrow one of our suitcases and put like decorations in there. That way we won't have to like haul like three different boxes for it. Um, I'm going to put the extra candles into storage. I'm going to keep some shooting stars. I'm going to keep the display ones that we had and I'm going to keep some, and I'm going to take some of the other ones that I like kind of messed up on, like in transport, I think, um, two candles got a little bit messed up. Like the lid, we would take it off the lid, but the lid like scraped some of the candle off and I was like, oh shit. So I'm going to see if I can refinish it by like using the heat gun to like make it even again. And we'll see how that works out. And then I am also going to take some of the some of the other candles. Cause like I filled them up really high, y'all. And like, like I usually like to fill up candles super high just because I want people to feel like they're getting their money's worth. Like I don't want somebody to like open a candle and it's only like halfway filled or some shit, you know. So that's why also that's why we were looking at like, you know the candles with the wooden lids? Like with those lids, you have to like fill it up only so high because of the wick and like you you push down on it and some of the wood goes inside it's like you you got you guys understand what i'm trying to say so like i usually try to avoid those because i was like i want people to feel like they get their money's worth but i got a little happy filling up those candles 
And so I was like, there's no real way to like light it. Like I, I'm gonna show y'all, but like, I was like, I gotta pour just a little bit out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a heat gun to melt some of it down and like pour some of the wick, the wax out. So like, it's not filled up so hot. Um, so yeah, for now, I'm just gonna focus on making um, the wax melts um, because I don't know if I have enough fragrance oils for some of them. Which one am I missing? Actually, I think I've ran out of spiced cranberry. I got a little bit of spiced cranberry. You can't see that. <laughs> I had a little bit of spiced cranberry, but it's like nothing. So like, I gotta order another bottle of spiced cranberry. Uh, so like low key, the spiced cranberry wax melts might be, be might release a little bit late. Cause um, don't at me, I'm so sorry. I try to have my life together. But like the other bottles are like basically filled to the top and it's like 16 ounces. So I have a lot of fragrance to spare. Except for pumpkin. Look at your, look at this, y'all. I, when I tell y'all lost my mind, this big old jug is nothing but the, uh, this is pumpkin spice. This, all of this, focus. Come on, girl, focus. Focus on me. This big old jug is nothing but the pumpkin spice um, scent. But I did that because I had made all the other candles except for the pumpkin spice. And I had like, I was trying to make like 32 candles of each set and I had like one pumpkin spice and I was like oh snap I forgot to order the pumpkin spice smells so I got the biggest jug that they had which was like $30 <laughs> so I'm like halfway through it already just making the candles but like I was like now I gotta make the wax melts I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some left over mm -hmm. 